Gang, D4G here. I am back. What it do, baby? All right, now today we're going to be tapping into three fragrances from the Mason Alhambra Club. And these are actually going to be from their script A line. I have three of them, but I think there are six or seven total. So we're going to tap into the three that I have right here. Let's go ahead and get into this first one. All right, the first fragrance we're going to talk about is going to be Oceana. Now, a couple of things that you can expect out of this is a little bit of oud, a nice touch of vanilla in the dry down, mixing with a good amber feel, a nice balsamic -y touch that is giving off along with some spice. Now, when you spray this, bro, this opens up with a huge blast of oud, mixing together with a powdery balsamic feel that is gonna be giving off. Now, when the transition, this is where this fragrance truly shines to me, because that's when you're gonna get a nice touch of spice and then as it's working its way to that dry down, that's when you start to pick up that amber and vanilla feel that this fragrance is gonna be giving off. It's still gonna be mixing together with that oud, but once you get the dry down, it's gonna be oud, spices, and vanilla. Now, first things first, fam, this is not a fragrance for everybody. For me, that oud is extremely synthetic, and it does come off with like an almalic type of feeling to it as well, which doesn't make it too enjoyable in that opening. You do kind of have to let this one dry down for like 15, 10, 15 minutes. But after that, then it starts to pop and be something that's a lot more manageable. And you can really start to enjoy it once it hits that point. For me, the best part about this fragrance is that transition and the dry down, which is good because it does work great in cold weather situations. You're not really gonna wanna wear this during spring or summer. This is strictly a fragrance that you are going to wanna keep during that fall and winter time. Cold months specifically, fam. Do not pull this out in high heat situations. Now this is one of those old fragrances that I would say you can dress this one up a lot more than a casual oud. It's not gonna be one of those more playful, immature. This is gonna be something that you can dress it up, suit and tie if you would like. You want to do something casual out and about, you can do that as well. First fragrance is going to be Oceana. And this next fragrance is going to be one of those extremely spicy, somewhat balsamic in a way with a little bit of touch of sweetness in it. And we're going to be talking about Amazonite. And this is the second one that I have out of this collection. Now this one here plays on that balsamic, spicy, and oud combination. Now the oud in this one is extremely strong, bro. You're going to get a lot of oud in this one. And the oud almost gives it like a cashmerean type of style about it. Very much so that. A nice touch of spice in this fragrance, which is really gonna be coming from nutmeg, along with a little bit of cinnamon. And a nice touch of saffron, especially as you're working his way through the dry down. Now the oud in this one is not gonna be that typical oud. It's gonna be more of like the argo wood type of thing. That's what you're gonna be getting in this one. Whereas the first one is mostly oud and a very synthetic oud. This one is a lot more enjoyable if you do like oud style fragrance. Now, the one thing that I will say about this fragrance is that this fragrance is a lot more manageable than Oceana, even though it still can be somewhat challenging in its own way. This fragrance, I can personally see a lot more people rocking with Amazonite than they would Oceana. And this one is gonna be one that you are gonna stick towards those cold months. Again, this is gonna be one of, one of those fall winter style fragrances, and you can truly just this one up or down. It really doesn't matter what you have going on. If you're an old lover, this is the fragrance that you'll be able to enjoy a lot more, in my humble personal opinion, than Oceana. Second fragrance was Amazonite. And this last one we're going full throttle. I'm about to show y'all the presentation. Now the presentation is the same on all three of these. So I just grabbed one and we're gonna show y'all this one first. And this is gonna be the presentation on Amazonite. This slides open like this. And then you just open up the box like so and then your fragrance will be sitting right in there very comfortably and snug this does have like a velvet feel on the inside of the box as well so dope presentation that they do give you with these if that is something that matters to you this third fragrance is the granddaddy of them all fam this is the one you really want to go check out and i'm talking about bronze tonight yes fam this one is him from this line so far out of the three that i do have grapefruit amber woodsy notes musk and some ginger bro this fragrance opens up with a beautiful grapefruit accord oh my goodness fam extremely clean nothing really off-putting about that grapefruit it is somewhat tart but it's not as tart as like a light blue forever it's just extreme somewhat tart in a way 
while mixing together with a beautiful ginger spice that you do get in that open. Now, one thing I truly do enjoy about this one is that grapefruit lingers throughout the entirety of this fragrance. Even as this transition is way, working its way with some woods, this fragrance is still gonna maintain that and the musk that you do get in the dry down is not overpowering, but there is a slight touch of musk. It's really gonna be that grapefruit accord mixing together with the nice woods, a soft spice still from that ginger with a great touch of musk. Now to me, this is the one that I would suggest a lot of y'all go check out, man. If you trying it, I ain't gonna say what it's cloning, but if you kind of know the notes in the accord, you will know exactly what this fragrance is. If you don't, just hit me up in the comment section and I'll, I'll let you know down there. This fragrance is beautiful. This fragrance is elegant. This fragrance is extremely sophisticated. Dress this up or down. If you like this type of DNA, this is one of the three that could be signature scent worthy. Now, all of these are extremely affordable. They are under that $40 price range. So these are all B.O.B. safe fragrances. But I'm just saying, fam, this is the one that has that mass appeal type of DNA about. Now, if I was to rank these three fragrances in the order that I do have them, number one is definitely going to be Bronze Night. This is the one that I think that everybody generally would love and enjoy. And again, this one has that signature scent type of DNA about it. The second fragrance is going to be Amazonite, and, but I will say you have to be a lover of oud, spices. It works on that type of combination. So if you are somebody that likes oud and somewhat of oud that gives off a Kashmirian style accord about itself, then you would enjoy this one. This one just doesn't have as much wearability, in my personal opinion, as Bronzonite. This one's more like a special occasion type of thing. And then the last one is definitely going to be Oceana. Me personally, I just can't see a lot of y'all rocking with this one. You would truly have to be a certain type of character to truly enjoy this one. It's somewhat hard to wear and it's not the easiest to truly enjoy, especially in that opening. It can be somewhat sickening in a way. But still, for me, I do enjoy the mid and dry down. That's a beautiful transition and that's where it shines the most. It just takes a while to get to the point where you can truly enjoy this. But that's just my thoughts and opinions, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Does y'all do y'all have any any one of these? Let me know y'all thoughts. I'm telling y'all right now, just just reiterating this. Bronze Night is the one that I think a lot of y'all would enjoy. That one y'all really should go check out if you are looking for a clone of that DNA. I'm just saying. But with all that being said, we to get up out of here. I hope y'all have a great day. I hope y'all have a phenomenal day. Stay on your square. Stay on your purpose. Don't let nobody take you off of the fam. D4G truly blessed. Destined for greatness. We are.